Uh, I'm here with Dominic Barber, and uh, name is Mike Sanders. I work for NTI doing the marketing. Tell, tell them what you do, Dominic. At NTI, I'm a supervisor for recruiting services, the re recruiting services and contact center services departments. Yeah, so what we do is we help individuals with disabilities back in the workplace, and we love it. You've been there for about four years. I've been there for about six, yeah. yeah. And uh, Dominic ended up coming to us looking for, for assistance, looking for a new job, and uh, he got cherry-picked amongst all the candidates that came to us. He was someone special. And uh, I was telling him this morning that we kind of monitored his progress, how he went through training, and he ended up with one of our top projects for a uh, government project. And uh, over the years, you know, we became friends and stuff like that. And he ended up starting to work for NTI, and he's moving up within the organization. But now he's here today. And what do we do here today? Shot some basketball. We shot some. Time. Yeah, so we shot some basketball. It's for an ad for New Mobility Magazine. And uh, it's going to be within the August issue, uh, 2019. So it should be uh, should be pretty prominent. It's full color page ad that we're doing out there. We did with the uh, Rolling Celtics today with Derek Poole. And uh, he was absolutely fantastic to work with. But Dominic, like you've been, you what made you want to come to NTI to begin with? Like, how did you find out about us? Um. I just found out about NTI from doing a web search and after I read about it, I just, um, actually I was called by Leah. Mm -hmm. She told me about the USDA project and I was interested in it, applied and I've been with you ever since. Yeah, so Leah, um, at the time she was the head of recruiting services yes. and uh, she also moved up within the company too, but we you know, we did a lot of great things with that and helped out a lot of people. And now you're firsthand helping out people who need to be helped with as well. So when you came to us, we didn't have the mentoring program, did we? No. No. Really it was brand new. And uh, we, we just started out with a couple of different people who were guiding people through the whole entire process. Because yeah. it was, they would come into to our program it would be kind of a scary thing because they haven't been in the workplace for a year. Now, for yourself, how long was it for you to, when you had your disability before you came back in? It had been 11 years since I worked. And, um, like, I looked for a job and I was looking for a full time employment, and NTI was a place that gave me an opportunity. Yeah, it's, so it was a little bit wild. Did you find, like, other organizations that kind of did the same thing, or? Or did you find like NTI and say, hey, I'm going to go for it? I just kind of went for it with NTI. And um, once I found out about the USDA project, and that was something that I was interested in as far as for working in technology, and I thought it was a just a good entry-level job to begin with. Yeah. yeah. And now you, our headquarters is based in Boston, but you work at home, right? Yes. yes. How do you like doing that? I love it. I love working remotely. Um, yeah. It's not as easy as people think. You know, you can't just do everything you want to. You do have to be professional at all times. Mm -hmm. but it does um, give you a little bit more privacy. And I just really enjoy working from home. Yeah. And you're, where's home for you? I am from Gainesville, Florida. Go Gators. Yep. Gators fan. And what did you do when we came up here? So we're in, we're in Foxborough, Massachusetts right now at uh, Mass Premier Courts and uh, Dominic's staying at Patriot Place yeah. um, for the next couple of days and has a view of um, where the Patriots play at Gillette Stadium. So um, we went around and I asked, I asked him, I said, do you want a pitcher in front of Gillette Stadium? And what was your reaction on that? Of course. So if I did that, <laughs> <a> picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so being from Jackson, the Jacksonville area, you have to expect he is, uh, you are a Jaguars fan um, and Gators fan. Yeah. Yep. Um, but did you still have a good time? Yeah, like kicking around? Um, yeah, I had a really good time. Yeah. And you, you haven't had a chance to travel like a lot. Yeah. So this is, but within the past couple of months, you've been up to Boston a couple of times. Yep, December was the first time I had been on an airplane since I got hurt in 2003. And now I've been on three trips here to Boston. Um, Through the past six months, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah so something a little bit different. 
Um, yeah. So what else do you like doing with this? Uh, so are you gonna are you gonna stick with wheelchair basketball after trying it for the first time? I don't know that I'll really get into it as far as for training and trying to be on a team, but I could definitely, after getting out here and shooting around a little bit, I could definitely see myself getting out and just shooting around with maybe my nephews or some friends and enjoy them shooting some basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Have you done any sports since this happened? I, I do a lot of weightlifting and weight training and just things to stay in shape and I stay around sports as far as for coaching. I coach youth football. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so tell us about that a little bit. Um, well, actually, I'm not coaching anymore. I didn't coach last year, and I don't plan to coach this year. But I started coaching with one of my nephews when he was six years old. And I coached him and his team up until seventh grade, or through his sixth grade year. Um, we had a lot of success, won some championships. Um, that whole team, they all went and played middle school last year. So, and they won the middle school championship. They're a great group of kids, great parents, really smart, really athletic. They had a great time. I would definitely go back to coaching. Yeah. yeah. And now you're coaching other people who are coming to NTI. Yes. So not only within your team, but also the people who are coming through the doors of NTI. Yep. It's a lot of job coaching that goes on, and just a lot of preparing our candidates for what they should expect when they get hired into one of our call center jobs. Yeah, what's, what's the best thing that you've heard coming through the door of a candidate? Like candidates who come through NTI's door, what's the best thing that you've heard? As far as for what? Um, like sometimes when I, when I work for NTI and I talk to candidates, they're pretty happy about um, the fact that they actually found us through our advertising. Yeah. But for you, you're in a different department. You hear from the recruiting side. Yeah. Does it make a difference in people's lives? It makes efforts? a huge difference in people's lives because there are a lot of people with disabilities that want to start working again, but maybe they're hesitant for reasons just because they're not sure that they want to work in an on on-site job you know, work in, in an office. They just have insecurities maybe that cause them to not want to work on site. It could be anything, you know, but yeah. I think that working from home definitely provides people a great opportunity. Yeah, and a lot of the people who we work with, they can't really leave their homes because of the disability that they have and we provide that chance for them to come back again. Yes. Um, a lot of people who come through us, even even yourself. You know, you started off at one area where you were answering phones, and now you moved up within the company. Look at where you're at now. Yeah. So now you're a professional model for within New Mobility Magazine. So. I say all that. <laughs> yeah, but everything's going pretty good. But did you have have you like what's the kind of feedback that you're getting from the candidates out there? Like what kind of good things have you heard? It's all positive. Just. People are just so happy to get back to work, you know, and just, um, not sure. Yeah. So, so what would you, what would you say to somebody out there who's kind of struggling and is a kind of afraid or hesitant on coming back into the workplace again? What would you want to say to them? Um, I would, I would tell them that NTI is a great opportunity for them to get started and, um, we provide not only jobs, but we also prepare you for the job as far as for training and... Yeah, giving you life skills to move on forward. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Dominic, thank you so much for doing this and thank you so much for being a part of NTI. Thank you. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. I want you to look towards your elbow. Left elbow, yeah. Back to me. Perfect. Spin around the other way one more time. Thanks, going great. It's like you're the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's first, first photo shoot. Good, good, good. They're natural. Thank you. Go. Like you mean it. Yeah. You want to hurt yeah, his like hand? Like, like smack it into his hand. Yeah. Hit it. Yeah. Hey, oh. yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh. Don't laugh. Come on.
That's an awesome shot. <laughs> Do you have a favorite shot? Let me zoom in. Just to make sure you can see the, you know, the yeah. profile. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, that looks good. That looks really good. 